know that we've been working on our small moment stories, and so today we're going to um, learn how to make those stories more interesting by adding describing words. So our learning target is, I can use describing words to add details to my stories and pictures. So first off, right now, I want you to come up with a definition of a describing word. So you're going to turn and talk, and in this class we go knee to knee and eye to eye. So go ahead and find a partner and come up with what a describing word is. So you need to be knee to knee and eye to eye. Turn and talk. Don't have to hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, a definition for a describing word. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. Something that's something that describes. Something that maybe. Yeah, describe. I always think of it as like it adds to um, it helps the reader right okay so for the sake of time come on back in my class I'd probably clap or yell peanut butter and you guys would yell jelly and then I'd have your attention so who wants to share um, what did you come up with what's a describing word how would you explain it to somebody who doesn't know what a describing word is Yes. Uh, we came up with the definition of uh, adjective. Uh -huh. It's a word that describes something or describes a quality. That's a great so. word for a kindergartner. Adjective. <laughs> yeah, so these are actually called adjectives. But in kindergarten, we're going to call them describing words. Can anybody give us a little bit more of a definition? What's a describing word? What does it do? Uh -huh. uh, it tells you what something looks like or feels like. Right? So it tells us a little bit more about something. Okay, so I have a book. I want to read Where Do Monsters Live? And you're going to hear some describing words. So every time you hear a describing word, I want you to just put your thumb up. Okay? It doesn't have to be up here. It can just be down here. Where do monsters live? A green monster lives in a greenhouse. A red monster lives in a red house. A purple monster lives in a purple house. A striped monster lives in a striped house. You guys are hearing lots Seems of bad. describing words. <laughs> a spotted monster lives in a spotted house. You guys can help me with this one. An invisible monster lives <laughs> in an invisible house. house. But an orange monster lives under my bed. <gasps> okay? So, how many of you heard some describing words in that story? Can you just go ahead and shout them out? Green. Spotting. Invisible. 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 Purple. Great. Good job. So we're going to brainstorm a list of describing words about monsters. And a little clue there is a describing word usually can have very in front of it. So it could be very red, very spotted. So if you're unsure if it's a describing word or not, try to put very in front of it and see if that sounds right to your ear. So my goal is to have as many describing words as are in the class because you're all going to pick a describing word and draw a picture of a monster and his house. And then we're going to put it together in a classroom book. So who has some describing words that they can put on my list? Scary. Scary. Beautiful. Hairy. Beautiful. Oh, hairy. <laughs> Funny. Funny. Tall. Tall. Squishy. Squishy. Oh my goodness. Gooey. Great. Gooey. Fuzzy. And I heard beautiful. Monsters can be very beautiful. What'd you say? No, that was her. So let's try it. Let's put very in front of it and see if it works. Monsters are very scary, very hairy, very funny, very tall. Okay. So we're all going to pick one of these. We have enough for everybody. And then I have a frame for you to fill in, and we're going to turn it into a classroom book. So you might say, an orange monster lives in an orange house. Okay? So I'm going to write your word on a post-it note, and I'm going to give you your frame, and you go draw a picture of the monster and um, with the describing word in the house. Okay? That's it. Okay. okay.